Okay, today we're going to talk about how authors will use rhythm inside of a poem to convey meaning as well as to make reading just more enjoyable and fun for you. We'll also be talking about how authors will use rhyming words inside of their poems too. So let's take a look at those today. Alright, so rhythm and meaning. How does the author use how do they use rhythm and how do they use rhyming words to convey meaning to you? Readers can identify rhythm patterns and rhyming words inside of poems to help them better understand the poem. So what your goal is to, to be able to identify the rhythm inside of a poem. So find out where the stress beats are, and your goal is to also find all of those rhyming words. So for example, the word star and r, they rhyme because they sound the same at the end. Pear and hair, they rhyme, they sound the same at the end. Joe and crow, they rhyme, they sound the same. So as a reader, you need to be able to pick the, the, the rhythm patterns up and need to be able to find the rhyming words. The rhyming words will probably be easy for us. It's the rhythm that's a little bit more challenging. So let's take a look at that, okay? All right, as I said, we're going to figure out rhythm and the rhyme. So let's take a look first. Here's a poem that we're going to read, and we're first going to look for the rhythm, see if we can find the rhythm of the poem. This one is a little bit harder. One of the best things to do when you try to find the rhythm of a poem is to actually read it a couple times. And you're going to try to look for those words that are stressed a little bit more than the other one. So you say them a little bit louder. All right. And rhythm, the rhythm of a poem is really just to help you understand the poem more and to make it more enjoyable to read and more fun to read. So it's really good reason. And don't forget, poets choose their words very carefully. So they really chose which words they wanted to rhyme and where they placed all the words. This poem is called A Hunting We Will Go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a fox and put them in a box, and then we'll let them go. As I said, you want to read it a couple times. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a fox and put them in a box, and then we'll let them go. So you can see my voice got a little bit more stressful in a couple of those parts. And that, tell, that helps me figure out the rhythm of the poem. So like I said, you're probably going to have to read your poems a couple times to figure it out. So let's take a look and see where those stressful parts are to help us figure out the rhythm. All right? So here it is. So when I say the, this part right here where the arrow is, that means it's a little bit, it should be stressed. I should say it a little bit louder. Oh, a uh, hunting we will go. A uh, hunting we will go, we'll catch a fox and put him in a box, and then we'll let him go. So the author created a rhythm inside of this poem to make it more enjoyable for us to read. I don't think he was trying to convey a whole lot of meaning in that one, because obviously he's interested in, uh, in he enjoys hunting animals and those kinds of things, but the rhythm... Is we've shown the rhythm by putting those arrows or check marks above where that stressful part would be. So that's indicating the rhythm of this poem. So let's look at this poem and see if we can find any rhyming words. So if you look right here, we do have some rhyming words. And remember, rhyming words are words. Rhyming words are the words that are going to have the same sound at the end. They have the same end sound. Rhymes help us connect ideas and poems, and they're just fun to read. So let's take a look here. So you see the words go, go, it sounds the same at the end. Go, 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 those all rhyme. They sound the same at the end. Box and box, that rhymes because it sounds the same at the end. So let's take a look and move on here. So you can see here, rhythm is where you find the stressful parts in the poem. Where... Does the author want you to stress it a little bit more? And that's usually to help it make it more fun to read. Rhyming, sometimes authors will rhyme just to make it fun to read, but sometimes they rhyme words that are really important, okay? So when you're, at, when you're on your own, make sure you're thinking about how you can do that. So the final thought, to find the rhythm of a poem, you'll have to read it several times. That don't really help you reading several times and looking for those rhyming words. And remember, they end this, they, they sound the same at the end. 